Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix EA Javelin anti-cheat error. So if you're receiving anti-cheat error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to repair, update, uninstall or reinstall EA anti-cheat. Now for this, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft, uh, sorry, EA website. On this website, scroll down. Here you can see EA Javelin anti-cheat installer. Click on it and then you can run this file. So click on this file and then click on yes to allow. Now over here find FC26. Here you can see install FC26. You can select this one and then hit repair. Once you click on repair, click on OK and then go to the game installation folder and then Open the program files and then open EA Games folder, open EA Sports FC 26 and then you have to select this folder, complete folder EA Sports FC 26 and then click on select folder. Now once the repair is complete, now you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. This time you can update so select again you have to select install fc26 and then click on update and once the update is complete now again launch the game and then check now over here you can see update success and then you can check you have to launch the game again and then check if that does not work then this time again select fc26 click on uninstall over here and once the uninstall is done now hit install and let the install complete once install is success now you can launch the game and then check still not working again select fc26 click on uninstall this time do not install close this and then you can launch the game when you launch the game during the launch it will install ea anti cheat now click on yes to allow and let the installation complete and then you can check now still not working. The next step is to disable like if you have these application, you can close these application. So if you have this application running, you can close it. Uh, you can just make a right click over here and then click on exit. Click on yes. Make a right click on the start menu. Go to task manager. And then if you find daemon tools over here, uh, you can just close it make a right click over here and then click on end task now make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager expand storage controllers if you see daemon tools make a right click click on disable device click on yes and you, if you after, once you disable you have to restart the computer so i'm not restarting right now so just make a right click and then in my case it will be disabled once i restart my computer now it expands Universal Serial Bus Controller, make a right click and then click on Disable Device, click on Yes. And then you have to restart your computer and then you can check. Now, if you have this REWSD application running, it's hidden somewhere over here. You can make a right click on REWSD and close exit. If you have DS4 Windows running, uh, like if you're using this application DS4, uh, make sure that this is closed. Sometimes it's hidden over here. So if you find it over here, you can just make a right click exit. And if you have auto hotkey, Razer Synapse, Razer Software, Corsair, ICU, CUE, Face It, Anti-Cheat, Riot Vanguard. So here you can see I have Vanguard running. So you can close this, Riot Client, close it. If you have this either mouse, Logitech, if you have this uh, XVDD, SCSI mini port in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager. So if you find this XVD, XVDD SCSI mini port, make a right click to disable it. If you have Corsair bus in device manager, make a right click disable it. Now, if closing or disabling does not work, uh, you have to close this, uh, you have to end the services in task manager. So make a right click on the task manager, go to task manager. If you have these applications running, make a right click and end the task. If that does not work, you can even uninstall this application. Close all the third-party applications like VLC, Codec, Wallpaper, Engine, MSI, Apps, 
also end the services from the task manager perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows at box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure this is checked then click on disable all then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to if you have this separate app running on your computer you can disable it or uninstall it crypto pro if you're running close it punk buster you can uninstall this punk buster and delete it from uh, the game uh, like if it is in c drive program files x86 or program files delete the folder if you have goodbye dpi app running close it if you have drop top running rain meter running close it if you have any kind of mouse and keyboard uh, uh, software like icue software you can close it if you have 3x software support app close it game companion if you're running close it if you have this scan uh, application and if you find menu.exe in task manager you can make a right click and then end it if you have wipe port or wipes vr software it's hidden somewhere over here then make a right click and then you can exit close it and then launch the game allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed uh, you can in steam if you have the game on steam program file 66 open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder open the common folder and you will see the game folder over here in my case it's in ea app so ea games and then select all the exe file this one add it browse all apps select all the exe file and then select this e anti cheat game service launcher as well again browse all apps and then open installer e anti cheat select this one click on open do the same thing in firewall so type in control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow the app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and select all the exe file to select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then select this one add again allow another app browse select the trial one add again browse this one is important ea anti cheat game service launcher in my case it is already added again the anti cheat select this one click on open and you have to do the same thing uh, with third party antivirus so if you have any antivirus program allow all the exe file to your antivirus program next step is to run the game from the uh, installation folder so you can go to the game installation folder manage view properties and then you can go to open folder and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which is run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working select windows 7 hit apply click on ok you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok now still not working when you put a check on all these boxes then in that case you can uncheck these boxes if not working apply ok and try to launch the game using this a anti cheat game service launcher make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to repair e app now to repair e app you can go to you can search go to e website and you can download the e app from here download the e app click on windows and then run this exe file and do not launch e app instead click on repair over here and let the repair complete once the repair is complete now you can uh, launch the game and then check still not working verify the game files 
now to verify the game files like if you have the game on steam you can go to steam i don't have the game on steam so i'm showing you a different game make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files now if you have the game on ea app go to ea app and then you can select the game and then you will see manage option you have to click on manage and then you will see the repair option and then you can check in my case it's repairing the ea app now the next step is to add the game exe file to exploit protection now before that i'll show you how to repair the game file in ea app so go to manage and then you click on repair and then you can check still not working then for exploit protection you can type in exploit protection in window search box and then click on exploit protection over here and then click on program settings and then click on add program to customize choose the exact file path and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then select fc26 open and then you will receive this pop up here to put a check on override system settings and turn this off if this is on turn this off in my case these are already off off so if this is on turn it off again turn this off so these are all already off now again turn this off once everything is off now hit apply click on yes and then you can launch the game now in future if you if you face any problem if you want to go uh, go to default you can remove this and this will go to default now the next step is to rename or delete the user set user settings folder now you have to rename or delete the config folder actually config folder all the saved settings will be lost now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder here you can see e sports fc 26 and you will see this uh, settings and fc setup so you can make a right click and then you can rename this fc setup dot world now launch the game if that does not work you can even rename this settings folder and then launch the game and then check still not working go back and then copy this create a backup we will rename this all the save game progress will be lost so you can create a backup first once you create a backup now make a right click and then you can rename this folder and then you can launch the game and then check the game will start from scratch when you rename it now still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website install this x86 file and x64 file run this if you see repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file again if you see repair option click on repair if you see install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed restart it will and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to create new window user account now for this you can open windows settings go to accounts and then go to other users click on add account and you can create a new local account so over here i don't have this person sign in information click on it now click on add a user without without a microsoft account and then you can name it whatever you want this is just an example if you want a password you can create a password if you don't want it leave it blank then once it is created now you can click on your new account click on change account type and then select administrator over here click on okay now you can log out you can sign out you can lock and then you can select the new account which you have created login and then you have to install the game to the new user uh, windows user account and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to update the bios so 
uh, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the e anti-cheat error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.